Hello, welcome back once more. My name is Anthony Emmanuel, also known as Gods. In this section, I'm going to talk about ERP Next. A lot of us are going to work with ERP Next, and the purpose of you watching this clip or video is to learn how to custom code or build custom applications for ERP Next. Okay, ERP Next is an open source enterprise resource planning system. You can get more information about it on erpnext.com. And wonderfully, they've also provided a platform for easy management and running of the open source system on Frappy Cloud. You can visit frappycloud.com for easier ERP next management Frappy Cloud. Okay, if you want a stress free hosting for the ERP next, you could log into this site and sign up. It's very easy, less free, no custom command on the terminal interface or what have you. Okay, heading back. Before I proceed, I would like to install ERP Next to the Frappe so as to make it easier for those who are watching to understand because I believe a large percentage of you guys may be having issues or trying to solve some kind of you know, customizations on ERP next. First off, I'm going to install it and add it to the Frappe. And recall that Frappe framework, Frappe framework. Looking at the architecture, you observe you can install several apps. You can create and install several apps. But the most popular application developed using Frappe is this ERP next here? So that's what we're going to install now. First off, log into your VPS. Enter your password, login. I'm going to zoom this. Okay. LS, CD, bench folder. Zoom into the bench folder. Do bench version. We have version 13 of Rappi. Next is to install ERP Next. Excuse me. To install ERP Next to the system. To do that, we will install ERP Next version 13 beta as well. Bench get app. Standard branch. Post version. Sorry version 13 beta ERP next this will obtain download and install ERP next for us it's gonna take a little while so once we are done installing the ERP next we'll notice there will be a difference on this interface and the look. After every install so, or application, application install, installation, the server restarts. You can also restart the server if it doesn't restart. What we have just done now is to install this app or get the app, the repository, the app repository from GitHub. Next is to install it into our sites. If you recall, we have sites, and the site you have here is this site. What we can do next is add this. ERP next to this site, but doing that it will wipe off every data you have in this site. Meaning that if I had done anything here, it will get erased. So take note before if you have intention of using ERP next, once you install Frappe, 
just add ERP next to it before you start any customization wherever you have to do. So I'll do that by typing bench. For saver or for safety, always use the flag dash dash sites. The name of the site site one dot local. Install app ERP next. This will install ERP next to the sites. Okay, if you read close, it says an error occurred when installing ERP next. ERP next can only be installed on a fresh site where the setup wizard is not completed. You can reinstall this site after saving your data. Use bench like site site, site name restore. But what to do first is to reinstall the site. In doing that, is to wipe up every data here. Reinstall. This reinstall is more like installing the site afresh. We just do the data reinstallation, then you install your Phoenix and the problem solved. Do not mind what you see or whichever error is showing up here. It's because the site reinstalled and the socket failed to get some data or communicate with the server. That's why you see this post. Never mind about it. Asking for admin password, you fill in an admin password. Once that is done, you install the ERP next to it. This may take a while depending on your server speed. Beautiful. We have successfully installed ERP next. You can also clear the cache. Let me bench clear cache. And clear website cache. This will clear any cache left in the system. I use this and, and reload to clear every catch in the browser. You can use your browser settings, more tools, clear catch. Okay, here we have a fresh ERP next installation. If you are confused, you can also just start from the beginning of the URL or just the base URL, enter the base URL. Do not bring it up to why we still have this icon showing is because, because we haven't thoroughly cleared the browser cache and images out. I'm gonna do that and see what's going on so clear browsing stream now yeah clear cached images and file okay well never mind the cache is definitely clear but first we'll set up the erp next select your country 
complete the setup. And please always have your browser console open in case of any issue. To be showed on this console to be printed here. And do not worry about this icon you are showing. The app next already fully installed. Now you can see a different workspace entirely with different menus. All this menu here pertains to ERP Next except for this um, settings and websites. But all other ones here, I think the utility as well, but all other ones relates to ERP Next. So from now henceforth, we'll be working customizing ERP Next, from writing custom script, generating reports, creating doc types, and the rest. So this is all you need to install an ERP next into the system. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and please leave your comments below. Thank you.